Hi, in this video, we are going to see about a Python project which is entitled as Crime Prediction Using Machine Learning and Deep Learning, a Systematic Review and Future Direction, which is the IEEE base paper title, which is an IEEE 2023 journal paper. So before seeing the execution of the project, let me brief about this project. So crimes are increasing day by day all over the world and especially in the cities, the crimes are more. The problem is like due to the various reasons especially the large number of population and also unemployability to the young people and various factors and also there are various crimes of various kinds of crimes are occurring like robbery motor vehicle theft assault and usage of drugs kinds of things there are various kinds of crimes occurring so now the the, when the crimes are increasing more and various categories are available, it is important to categorize the crimes and to predict the crime using a scientific approach. So in this base paper, the authors have taken the crime prediction using machine learning and deep learning and it is a survey paper. So kindly note that they have surveyed more than 150 articles and they have presented the what are all the types of data sets available in crime and what all the techniques available already done on it so the crime as i said there are various types of crimes and there are various cities available all over the world so we cannot uh, do all the things that is mentioned in the base paper as it is a survey paper so now let us see about what is the proposed system that we have done on it so here you can see the IEEE base paper title crime prediction using machine learning and deep learning and and our proposed title is advanced crime prediction using machine learning with crime forecasting and categorization so now already we have done in our project list also you can see crime prediction using two different projects we have done one with the indian data set the problem with the indian data set is it is there is no any update latest version on it so it is a older data set only available official websites they are not given the latest one another project we have used chicago data set so now we are going to improve wise the, the latest pro version so that we are going to use a, a crime a data set from the city portland so which is in from the USA and also the year of this data set is 2015 to 2023. So this is the latest data set and other point is like so now the data set records that we are going to use contains 5 lakhs 5063. So it is a huge data set. So the way we are going to the model going to analyze the huge data set and it is going to predict more classes than the existing one so here you can see there are 20 classes crime classes like uh, larency offenses motor vehicle theft assault offenses drug narcotic offenses etc i'll show you i'll tell you what all the other classes 20 classes also in the proposed system so now the from the existing system we are going to improve wise these things one the first thing is like the model so existing system we have used random forest model so here we are going to use two different models two different models are available in this project one is decision three classifier where we have achieved the training accuracy score of 98 percentage and test score of 95 percentage another one is bagging classifier there also we have achieved the same train score of 98 percentage and test score of 95 percentage so first thing is like the improvise from the existing to the proposed is like we have improvised the change the model and two different models we have done Sec second point is like we have used the different data set third point is like we have used the latest data set till the current date and fourth point is that we have included the uh, more uh, classes in it so 20 distinct crime classes we have done it and we have improvised the accuracy score of the project so these are the five important four points that i knew that distinct for the existing system and a proposed system so coming to the abstract again so you can see the decision tree classifier and bagging classifier accuracy points here and data set it contains 15 features what are the features like address case number crime against property or person or neighborhood occur date occur time category offense offense time open date 
latitude and longitude open data xy offense count these are the features that is available in the data set point so i'll show you the data set so the data set is in the model folder you can see this is the data set that we are used so as the data set records is more so it takes some time to open so kindly wait for a few minutes it contains around 80 mb this uh, csv file so now you can see the data set record so this is the data set record that we have downloaded from kaggle so you can see the file lags data set records here so this is the data set that we are going to train up the system so coming to the existing system uh, here you can see the existing system document where we have mentioned that we have used the model random forest classifier earlier and lesser accuracy was achieved before and there are lesser features available before that so those details are mentioned so here you can see the disadvantages of the existing system so we have listed the disadvantages of the existing system using the random forest classifier and the proposed system you can see that the proposed model that we are going to implement using the Portland data set which of the year 2015 to 2023 those details have been mentioned here and here you can see the 20 crime classes as I said there are 20 time we are going to predict so they are like, like uh, latency offenses, motor vehicle theft, assault offenses, drug narcotics offenses, weapon law violation, vandalism, burglary, fraud offenses, robbery and forgery, arson, prostitution offenses, stolen property offenses, animal cruelty offenses, homicide offenses, embezzlement, absence material, exhaustion, blackmail, bribery and gambling offenses. Though these are the 20 distinct crime classes and those details have been mentioned uh, elaborately in the proposed system and these are the advantages of the proposed system especially the accuracy and the features that i have said to you and coming to the system architecture you can see the data portland organ data set has been given as the input and the pre-processing feature selection has been addition reclassify and backing classifier is applied and the predicted results is the offense type it has been categorized and performance analysis and graphs will be shown and coming to the system requirements you can see the hardware and software requirements so as mentioned we'll be using python or the coding language version is python 3.10.9 and the web framework that we use is flask and for the front end part we use html CSS, and javascript and this is the reference of the ieee base paper title before execution make sure that you fulfill the requirement that is mentioned in the requirement file with the exact version of the python and the libraries installed in your system so now let us see the execution of the project first copy the source code location go to your command prompt first go to the drive location where you have pasted the code in my case i have pasted my code in f drive i'll go to the f drive now so now type cd space and paste the link that we copied and click enter so now we are into the source code location now type the command python app.py and click enter and kindly wait for a few minutes So now you can see this URL, just copy this URL, go to any of your browser, I am going to Google Chrome, just paste the URL that we have copied and click enter. So now you can see the home screen, it comes to the project with the project title, crime prediction using machine learning. So now just click this login menu, so now it will be navigated to the login page and kindly note that this is a static login page because we have not used any database in the project so just enter the default username and password as admin and admin and then click the login button so now you can see the login success message and click ok so now it will be navigated to the upload part where you need to upload the data set so just click the choose file and go to the source code location first in the source code location where you can find the upload.csv file so just select this and then click the upload So now it will be navigated to the preview part as there are more data set records in it, it takes some time for it. So
so now you can see the preview page is loaded so as there are more data set records you say it takes time for it kindly wait and now uh, in the bottom of the page you can find this click to train or test button just click this click to train or train button after the loading part so kindly wait for it so now it is completed now you can click this click to train or test button and kindly wait for few seconds So now you can see the training finish message and click OK. So now it will be navigated to the important part that is the prediction part of it. So now let me show you with a few cases. So now let me enter the latest uh, cases itself and show you. So let me enter the year 2023 month as July day as 31 day of the week as Monday crime against this property. So just if you click this. Uh, you can see what all the things that is available and you can select accordingly so near place is like uh, at university park and enter the latitude and longitude for this case as 45.585250045 and longitude is 122.731700 and here you can see the uh, type that you can select which model you wanted to select edition tree or bagging classifier i'll show you with the both maximum all both the will be showing the same results only because we have got the same accuracy results so let me show you first with the edition tree classifier for this case and let's click the predict so now you can see the predicted result is larcency offenses and the model that we have selected is decision tree classified. So now here you can see these values are resetted because we are not using any database to store the value. So that is the reason. So whatever the values that we have entered accordingly, the prediction result is being shown in this page. So now if you wanted to check with the other for the, for the, for the first page, just click this prediction menu again. So it will be refreshed. So now let me show you with the other case with the year 2020. 23 let me select the month as june this case and day as 28 and day of the week as wednesday crime against as property uh, near place as northwest you can see the location that is available in the data set part so you can choose accordingly this is northwest industrial and latitude point is 45.540595 and longitude as 122.702239 and this time let me select the model as bagging classifier and click predict so now you can see the predicted result as correctly classified as motor vehicle theft and the model that is selected as bagging classifier is being time so now let me click the prediction menu again so now let me select the year as 2022 this case and let me select as October and day as 9 and the week as Sunday crime as property and near place as Foster Powell latitude as 45. 4902032.5 longitude as 1581486 and model let me be as decision tree classifier and click predict and this type has been classified as vandalism and the model that we have selected as decision tree classifier so it is predicted correctly and let me go to the prediction menu again to check with the other case let me enter the year as 2023 January and month as 29 day of the week as Sunday and crime against us person this time and this is as a down tired or downtown the near place longitude is 45.520527121 longitude is 122.675474848 the model let me be as decision tree classified and click predict so now you can see the offense type as classified as assault offenses and the model that we have used as decision tree classifier so it is predicted correctly 
so now let me show you the case with the year 2023 january and date as 29 and day of the week as sunday so so i climb against this society and let me select the place as downtown and latitude is 45.520527211 longitude as 122.6754748 and let me be the decision tree classifier and click predict so now you can see the drug narcotic offenses is been classified as the offense type and also the model is decision tree classifier that we have selected so this these are the few cases i have shown you there are 20 classes so if i'm going to show all the 20 classes it takes more time you can check with other cases another thing is like you can also check with the future cases so it may also predict the future crime type also let me show you so now the date is uh, to the 18th November 2023 so now let me go for 2024 so now let me go for 2024 I'll select the day as 4 this is Monday I'll select the crime against as, as property itself and let me select the near place as northwest industrial and latitude as 45.540595 longitude as 122.7022391 and let me select the modelization reclassifier and just click the predict button so now you can see the predicted uh, the future prediction meters will be like on licensee offenses and the model that we selected is decision reclassifier so in this way also you can check with the future value so now let me move to the next part that is the chart part so once if you click the chart menu the chart part will be loaded kindly note that this is a static chart only because as i mentioned we are not using any database to store the value so this chart just been shown the with the data set that we have used only so this is a static chart it does not varies according to the input values that we are going to give so here you can see the highest crime type so as i said earlier there are 20 various classes available but here we are going to show you only the five highest crime types so if you can see the first one is licensee offenses which contains 99 percentage and uh, second one is like motor vehicle theft which is 85 percentage and uh, third one is assault offenses which is 75 percentage burglary as 70 percentage and a fraud offenses as 60 percentage and this is the first chart which contains the highest crime type and second one contains the percentage of the crime occurrence with the particular year so here you can see the years like 2016 17 18 19 23 like that so here you can see the first 2016 contains 5.9 percentage 2017 with 7.8 percentage 2018 with 9.8 percentage 2019 with 11.8 percentage 2020 with 13.7 percentage 2021 with 16.7 percentage 2022 with 17 point six percentage and 2023 with 16 point seven percentage so here you can see the year 2023 and 2021 contains the highest crimes of the particular year so as i mentioned this was a static chart that is being depicted from the data set record that we have used with and now let me log out and this is all about the project crime prediction using machine learning and thank you for watching